Right, well, from one Anglia winner, let's go straight away to meet some more. The team of the moment, Norwich City, and waiting for us at the City Hall is Jerry Harrison. Thanks a lot, Stuart, and we're waiting, soaked to the skin, uh, quite a few thousand here, waiting the arrival of uh, Norwich City Milk Cup winners. This is the scene from the Guildhall. We're looking now across to the start of Gentleman's Walk and that far corner, the team soaked, I suspect, as much as the spectators here will be arriving any second now. It's such a shame that these people have been gathered here, some of them for three or four hours, in the pouring rain. In the last half an hour, it's really sheeted down. There's no justice at all, because a lot of them, of course, had made uh, the very long and in many cases expensive trip to Wembley those who couldn't do that came out on this special occasion to salute their heroes and blow me what happens the heavens open and in this half light of the early evening they're really drenched they're surely not far away now the message has gone around that they're virtually with us if you could see through the gloom there Here they are. Tremendous reception, they've been of course all around the ring road of this city, they've been on that bus for an hour, they've been getting wet for an hour, and here they are at last in the market square. The odd umbrella or two, very odd one or two of them. This then is third time lucky. 1973, 1975, they came back here, warmly received as Wembley finalists, but here now in 85, they come back as winners. Not all of them, of course. Dave Watson, as we mentioned earlier in the programme, and goalkeeper Chris Woods are with the England party, so sadly they're going to miss this very warm and wet reception. distance to distinguish exactly who is who in the gloom of the evening but in the joy of this occasion they're really giving us some stick now a good display of banners and indeed a good display of one or two Sunderland hats and favours swapped in friendship in what has been called the friendly final by the supporters down there at Wembley coming along the bottom of gentlemen's walk at a leisurely pace turning up Jail Hill but no jail for these players of freedom of the city more like real passion here the rain is still coming down but that's all forgotten because there's the cup the new milk cup the older one, the previous one, is now safely in the hands of Liverpool. This now is in the hands of Norwich City and Ken Brown's team. Their first major national triumph. And what a reception they get here. The value to the team is £64,000 in prize money, but the value to the city indeed to Norfolk and to the lesser teams in the Football League is really priceless. The big competitions not dominated by the Liverpools and Everton's and Spurs and Arsenal's. It's open to anyone and it's Norwich City's here.
Here they come. They don't look too wet. The wives are there too. It was a family occasion for them this weekend. And the club, according to the girls, have looked after them very well. They've all had a thoroughly good time. Of course, it means European football for Norwich City. That's really something to celebrate in football terms. seems to have his hands on it. Deputy captain, of course, in the absence of uh, Dave Watson. Two buses, two squads. Mick Shannon. And the milk cup. And now we're in the Mancroft Hall and the players are being greeted by the Lord Mayor, Councillor Stan Peterson and his wife. There are 300 guests in here, of course, to receive them, to applaud them, and to make sure they really enjoy this occasion. But of course, this is something the spectators outside cannot see and uh, they will not know that just at the moment there's a little bit of uh, bedlam in here. The players are uh, being greeted and they're being uh, loaded up with a glass of wine. Peter Mendham. Hi, Jerry. What was it like out there? Wet, but a warm oh, reception. Fantastic, eh? really. You know, the supporters have been great. You know, all the lads have been, you know, that's been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, good. Um, were people all around the roads all the way you were there? Yes, all the way around the ring road and through the city. That was absolutely fantastic. You know, in the city hall here, I yeah, can't believe it. I've never seen anything like They're it. They're soaking wet out there, but I mean, that's it's right. Yeah, so enthusiastic, you know, tremendous. Have you had a chance to analyse the game or think what you've enjoyed most? Um, not really. I've uh, I enjoyed the game very much, uh, you? Jerry. You know, especially the first half. You know, I was a bit tired for the second half, but yeah. uh, at least we got the old medal to yeah, show. Yeah, let's for have a look it, at it. No, I've never seen one of these. Uh, we're just joined here by Mick and the Cup. Michael, nice yeah, to see you. Yeah, Peter. Let's have a look at that medal first, Peter. Have a drink. <laughs> good. That's good. I like that. There we are. Let's have a look at that one. Good. Peter, well done. Hold Cheers, on to that Jerry. cup. Mick, what do you think of the reception? Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. A wet night as well, and they've turned out in their thousands. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, good. Good. I think you're going to have to go out there and, and greet them in a minute, but uh, let's have a look at that cup. Um, yeah, Steve. Oh, that's Steve. Good. Good. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Steve, come and join us a second. Yeah. Um, good reception out there. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's pouring we're in, and uh, I think the lads have done the sounds proud for everybody who's turned up tonight. Unbelievable. Right. Great. Good. Superb. Well, have you lost all the girls and the wives? Where they got I think to? the waves are just getting the champagne. I think we didn't think it would be this full, but we've lost them somewhere. But it's not yeah, too you've got to realise you've got to, you're competing yeah, with 300 right. guests and, uh, for the champagne, but that's uh, right. for the honour of seeing it. Good. Great. Okay. I'm we'll see you in a minute. Over. Okay, thanks very much. Outside, it's still pouring with rain. It's uh, still a pretty warm reception. And they're waiting for the players to come out and be received. But back inside in the dry, for the moment, Asa Harper, a bit wet out there, Asa. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's all worth it, isn't it? I mean, the crowd have been absolutely fantastic. I mean, they must have been standing out there for hours. Right, I think the players are going outside now, Asa, and they obviously want to see you. I like your, I like your flower. Good, see you outside in a minute. Good, well done. So, out they go and show the cup. Well, this is the moment they've been waiting for for some decades. Mick Shannon holding the trophy. It's so good for Norwich and Norfolk that such a huge proportion of people were able to get to Wembley. And those that couldn't, I think, are all here in their tens and thousands. Asa Harford shows the trophy. 
They're now, of course, flooding in from the outer regions. Those that greeted the team out on the ring road have now come to join the celebrations here in the City Hall. Now the Lord Mayor, Councillor Stan Peterson. I enjoyed it on Saturday. I did. Sunday. Sunday. Could I just... First of all, they're going to do a lot of cheering tonight. Can I, first of all, ask you to give a cheer for our opponents and their supporters, Sunderland. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great day for Norwich, a great day for Norfolk, a great day for Britain. Now, Europe, watch out. Here we come. Can I introduce you to your chairman, the chairman of Norwich? Football club. Come on, former Lord Mayor of this city 30 years ago, Sir Arthur South. Hello. Tonight, tonight belongs to Ken Brown and all the players. Just behind the Lord Mayor and Ken Brown, and uh, there must be 300 people out on the uh, balcony. Uh, Dennis Van White. Hello. Dennis, did you enjoy yourself? Oh, it's tremendous. Tremendous. Yeah. A few moments, uh, yeah. It's well, a bit scary, about, but. You know, the scary yeah, handball. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. It's one of those things that, you know, that happens in. You had a, a very strong party from Holland. What, 55 or so? Yeah, they all enjoy it? People, yeah. Oh, it was the best day in their lives, yeah. And what, was... what about your father? Because he has been uh, pretty unwell, hasn't he? He's been unwell, but he. Uh, I just want to say, they all enjoyed it, it was great. Good. Great. 